the firm's input decision has a dual nature. Indeed, production duality can be solved using either production maximization or cost minimization solutions. Let's review both methods. In its mathematical form, the production maximization problem can be formulated as an equation where output Y is maximized subject to a budgetary constraint such that the total production cost is lower or equal to the firm's production budget C. And there is a dual problem by which the firm tries to minimize its production costs subject to a desired amount of output level. In this case, the problem can be formulated as an equation where the firm's budget PY is minimized subject to a desired output level, here Y bar. These general equations, however, are not usually useful on their own and are reformulated so they can be easier to analyze. If we read this new product maximization equation, we see that the maximum production given by two factors of production, capital and labor, is subject to a budgetary constraint equal to the sum of the factors of production. As we can see, the units of capital are multiplied by the interest at which the firm borrows this resource, while the units of labor are multiplied by the wage the firm pays each unit of workforce. And the new equation for the dual problem is now noted as the minimization cost problem, which is equal to the sum of its factors of production, such that it achieves a production level which depends on its factors of production, which is at least as big as the output level it seeks. Since only two inputs are considered, these two equations can be graphically represented. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of capital used in the production process, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the amount of labor needed. Finding the optimum levels of inputs can not only be seen as a question of choosing the highest production isoquant tangent to a given isocost line as when maximizing production, but also as a question of choosing the lowest cost function or isocost line tangent to the production isoquant, as seen when minimizing cost. As we've seen, production duality can be understood as a coin. Hence, the firm tries to maximize its production subject to a given budgetary restriction. Or tails, the firm tries to limit its expenses subject to a given output level. Either way, the problem can be easily solved as its mirror optimization problem when analyzing consumer theory, consumption duality.